Let's see, charge, 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 jump, run, charge, 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 jump, run, charge, 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 pop, pop. And then once Bahamut comes down, you have a big chunk of damage. There, and I get the fireball off as well. Uh, and there you have it. Yo, MVP. Hey guys, Lisa here with another Grand Blue Fantasy Relink video. This time we've got the advanced, advanced, advanced EO guide. And so this is after you've already kind of played EO a lot, you've mastered a lot, and we can go into like some extreme optimizations here. Uh, it changes the flow chart a little bit, makes it a little bit more difficult, but if you can stick to these tips, you will be MVPing with EO. So let's take a look at skills. So we looked at skills a little bit before, but let's take a look at them from the point of view of end and end game and end and end, end game so again i'm assuming you have a pretty good build uh, i'll show my build right here so i've got got mage mage's aspiration here. i've got the improved dodge because improved dodge helps eo a lot with uh being able to retain her charge and we've got mage's savvy which has quick charge on this so it's a really lucky roll there we've got a one crit so my build's a little bit different might want to go for a more crit heavy build the reason i have 80 percent crit is because on my weapon i have lucky charge so this is kind of a little bit off from how you would typically build so take that in mind i have lucky charge which gives me 100 percent crit on my stargazes which is that's your big big damage is eo is your stargazes so make sure you have at least your stargaze hitting 100 percent crit okay so i have like life on the line pretty good damage mod quick cooldown i've got quick charge here quick charge is really nice on eo helps a lot with rotations and we've got here supplemental damage we've got our three supplemental damage the reason why one is 13 is because i don't want to fight i've been neglecting fighting vulcan bola and you can probably guess why because it's pretty shit and i hate doing it but uh with booster which i do have on my cat it just bring it up over so it, it is actually like 100 percent and you've got your four damage cap uh pluses hopefully and uh a, a, a couple things here so i do have nimble onslaught here i love nimble on onslaught really amazing skill really underrated i think nimble onslaught allows you to get a perfect dodge and lets you get a lot of charging in which is which is great lets you get a lot of attacks in for free and again i have quick quick cooldown eo is a very 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 skill-based person you're gonna be using a lot of your skills your spells in order to do a lot of damage um supplementary damage also does affect eo a lot huge damage on her stargazes so you definitely want to have the max out supplementary damage good damage mods on eo we've got you could run stamina she doesn't really get hit that much you can run life on the line i wouldn't really run enmity as she doesn't really have a natural way to get like pretty low not really a big fan of that one on her but you could run it i got stamina here life on the line and the really good one is concentrated fire you could run concentrated fire as well concentrated fire does work on everything and uh, there were a lot of rumors concentrated fire doesn't work on eo that's just not true it does work. I checked it. We, we, I, I tested literally everything live on stream. So 100% all of it. All of it works with Concentrated Fire. Concentrated Fire is really nice because it's a big damage mod. It, it, it's really nice because it's a big damage mod and it's no strings attached. You can run Concentrated Fire pretty freely on, on EO. And in fact, I recommend it. So we'll take a look at skills from an endgame point of view here. There's a lot of things that you could run. I, I've recently been running a lot of Flower 7. The reason why is because a lot of free damage and a lot of free stun and meter gives, gives you a lot of sba meter i never charge this either you can also run gravity well uh, against targets that are going to be standing in place for a long time pro baja for example it does give you quick charge which is really important and we'll talk about that later you can also run uh mystic vortex is really nice for getting a, a nice fat nuke um during during times that you really uh you can build up a lot of charge wh where the boss is unhittable um if you're not really good at managing your, your stargazes this could help you out you can also run concentration but I, I think concentration is a lot of effort in order to actually get it to work. So this is like super, super advanced stuff and it's a lot of effort and screwing up will lower your damage here. But again, like try out all the different abilities, see which one you like, the, the benefits of each. Flowery 7 does not give you does not give you quick charge. That's the negative of it. But it does do a lot of damage. It's basically instant cast and it gives you high amount of stun as well as a high amount of meter. seven percent meter right there let's actually check the meter that you get from gravity well without any uplift i find myself ulting first because of flowery seven giving me that seven seven percent for free so i really like flowery seven for that reason so here's the benefits again flowery seven gives you gives you a lot of meter it's basically instant cast there's a lot of bombs downside no no quick 
no quick charge long cooldown gravity well good against targets that are standing still does a lot of damage it's about equivalent with flowery seven on damage has a shorter cooldown again the target has to stand still for it so the benefit is it does give you a quick cast mystic vortex very easy to use so that would be the positive of it very easy to use gives you quick cast as well as uh fills up all of your orbs so you can use it during times that the boss is not reachable but again you can also just throw orbs so very easy to use mystic vortex concentration really hard to use properly but it can it does have a lot of damage potential so the flow with eo this is again at super advanced the flow with eo is you want to make sure that your cooldowns are always down as much as possible so your basic rotation is to start off with fire you're gonna go fire which will add the death down on the enemy in case you're not like fully capped and you're gonna want to charge stargaze 2 not stargaze 1 so stargaze 2 with quick cast is actually your highest dps bread and butter and it utilizes your skills in rotation however you do not want to be casting this as much as possible so if you have charge orbs up you want to fill them as much as you can if there's no skill coming up so again attain quick charge by the cast of this or a skill or link those are the things that give you quick charge you want to make sure that you have quick charge and then you're gonna, going to want to cast the highest level stargaze just to get you to the next quick cast so having all my cooldowns up i'm going to want to cast fireball and then stargaze 2 which is one pip so this is stargaze 1 and then you have stargaze 2 which is one pip and stargaze 2 is free it doesn't actually use any of your your orbs fireball stargaze 2 canceled into ice into stargaze 2 and then from there if you can if it's a good time to stun the enemy you can drop the stun right away and we're actually not going to be canceling the stun so there are some cases that you do want to cancel the stun and that's when you're not going to immediately be able to nuke the target which you can cancel again with a short hop i'll show kind of a basic rotation here fireball quick charge stargaze one link attack get another stargaze one ice and then, and then now I'm going to start char charging my Stargaze. Let's assume I'm not using Lightning. Drop that. And then you drop your Flowery 7. And then you start throwing balls. One. Charge Gaze 1. I see my fire coming up. Go for fire. Now I'm charging because Ice isn't up yet. Probably drop this 3. Ice is up. Link attack. One. My Ice is still up. And then I go charge again. So as long as you have a skill up, you want to use Stargaze 2. But w when you have no skills up, then you want to charge further stargaze because you want to avoid using this as much as possible so i actually end up using stargaze 3 a lot in a lot of cases where i have to ball so if you ball and you have full full charges then you can full charge unless you so, so i see like my I, my fire is up right so i'm in the middle of casting ball fire just came up then i'm gonna want to do one stargaze two so i can throw the fireball See how I'm just casting Stargaze 2? And then the instant I have nothing left on cooldown, you just keep charging as far as you can until the next cooldown. So always be casting is the lesson here. So you can actually cancel your spells with other spells. So there are times, so for, for instance, let's assume nothing is up right now and I use, and I'm casting Stargaze, then you're gonna wanna cancel with dodge if you have no abilities up. All right, so let's see what that, lo that looks like. We'll throw Thunder into the rotation. We'll throw Thunder into the rotation. So one, Link attack. Okay, see, Ice is up. One, Ice. And then what you could do is you could do one. You could actually do one into Thunder if you want. But when you cast Thunder like this, you want to do the full animation so you get the quick charge at the end. Now let's see some practical uses with the other abilities. Gravity Well does give you a pip. So every time you do cast Gravity Well, you actually want to wait the full animation out so that you get the quick charge. Otherwise, you won't get it. It's the same thing with Thunder, where if you cancel Thunder, you don't actually get the quick charge. So you want to just drop it, and then you get the quick charge from it. If you need to use Thunder right away and move, then you would cancel it. So Concentration is very hard to use. I'll kind of show you how it looks. So let's say I have like Fire. And then I do that. Pop one, ice, get my one, and then say now you have this. So you would basically drop these single bombs. Then you would want to charge a little bit for one just to give you your reset so that you're not getting staggered from hopping so much. And again, it takes a lot of concentration to do this because then you're going to want to throw in your fireballs. 
right and your ice is as well so again it, it's pretty good it's pretty good but it is a lot of effort if you think you can do it and also you're gonna have to have the timing window to actually land all those attacks right otherwise it's not really useful so next up i'll show you guys a proto bahamut run and we can go through it i'll do a little, a little commentary on the proto bahamut run and you can kind of see so one thing i do want to say about eo so her damage itself is pretty low compared to other characters one thing about eo she's able to bank damage so you can actually deal damage during times that no one else can deal damage so for instance if proto bahamut is in the sky you can be charging and no one else can do this they're just sitting there waiting for proto bahamut to come down and then but you have been actually setting up to deal damage so once proto bahamut lands you just drop a nuke on him that's kind of what where eo shines in being able to deal damage despite the fact that her damage is low all right and we'll go through a uh bahamut fight and uh talk about it here again you just ready ready your charge or more of the purple things that come up now here i'm gonna actually hold charge let rackham handle the rest because of this so i'm probably gonna nuke the center one just get like that out of the way and you know i'm not saving up my ball so it's, it seems like i'm in trouble but i'm not because so now i'm gonna cast fire cancel so here goes the fire one charge cancel ice one charge cancel link should be up now there's a link and then i go here for four two three four drop flowery seven and then lightning two and i go fire and i go one two and then ice and then one just to be safe i still didn't hit but i mean i went i went for one just to not be greedy so skyfall's coming out and this is like kind of where eo shines during these bahamut runs because people can't deal damage during skyfall but i can so if you see i'm um, here I'm charging, building up my balls, and now I'm gonna have a four drop like once he drops down. So I'm actually dealing damage now if you think about it because it's backloaded. So right here, once the bomb comes over here, I'm gonna drop that on him. I'm gonna drop fire, charge, ice. Oops. Get the link first. Ice, charge. I think I get two here. And I'm just gonna auto attack a bit. Oh, don't get hit by that. I actually could have SBA'd there, but it's fine. Nobody else had it. So you do a little bit of damage off of here. And then you have Arcadia. I'm just gonna hop over that. And actually, I could do more damage too if I was running a uh, glass cannon. But I'm not. I hear Bahamut, Bahamut coming down. Yo, thanks so much for the raid. Thank you. One. That. One. Link attack. Give me one second. I'm filming a guide. I drop that. Get the break there. And actually, I don't know. Can we get Link? We can. I'm gonna SB first. All right. So now we SB. So I got my SB there after dumping all those potions. I used my blue potions there to to um to get get Link. Drop that. Gonna use ice here. And I'm actually gonna charge to full because I have no other cooldowns left. So two four and i'm gonna do orb orb two charges until my my fire is coming up then i go fire here fire fire one ice and i'm gonna go three do one charge here nice ult drop two flowery seven i'm gonna do one and i'm gonna lightning to keep him pinned oh he's still around what the hell anyway i wanted to show this anyway so absolute judgment this is a really good spot for eo to deal damage that other people can't deal, da deal damage in so it's a little hard i'm gonna show you how to get it so you're gonna run into position and drop a ball and start charging and then you just keep charging you do the fast char charge hops here and then you're gonna run in this corner while you're charging so see charge 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 charge, charge jump run charge charge, charge charge jump run charge 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 hop hop and then once bahamut comes down you have a big chunk of damage 
there, and I get the fireball off as well. So, usually people can't deal damage during that step, but EO can. And, you know, here, here I can build up a little bit more. I can build some balls up if I want. Hey guys, Future Leafly here. Also, during this part, whenever there's a cutscene that freezes, you lose your charge. You can actually do a dodge in the air right when the cutscene hits. And if you actually get that right, you don't lose your orbs. Could have had a link. <laughs> It is freaking recoiled and taken to Saturn. We could have had him. So I see that I have ice up. So the instant uh, he drops, I'm going to ice. I see fires coming up as well. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to drop ice. One. Fire. One. Link attack for the... Now when I'm in link time, it's just ones. Ice. One. Fire. One. Ice. One. Charge. Fire. One. And then SP. SP for the flex. Pop that extra potion. Get big honors. <laughs> and he's dead. And I, uh, let's see, I, I think I got MVP there. Like I'm playing with like full gear people as well. So it's not like I'm, I'm, I'm sandbagging or whatever. Uh, and there you have it. EO MVP. <laughs> Thanks for watching my EO guide on Bahamut. Uh, if you have any questions, I have a bunch of other EO guides. Like I'm an EO my main and the channel has a bunch of EO guides if you're interested. And uh, we'll put them in the links below and on screen. I stream on Twitch. So come see me at, at twitch.tv slash leaflet. And I stream, I'm streaming every day this month. And uh, hope to see you there. All right, bye-bye.